If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing before the Rick Premier and the Mutt Loyalty Program. Now, guys, these are the only two programs that do transfer over into Madden 21, which is why I feel these are important programs specifically at this time of the year because they will actually give you a head start next year's Madden. Now, despite the actual benefits of them to certain teams and certain people and certain money versus not money spenders, that can all be argued but for the most part guys these are the two most beneficial things to do at the end of every madden year they are coin oriented for the most part they're not money oriented but they're coin oriented and i'll go through all that in just a second but guys let's open up this team fantasy pack kick off the video i do want to open up a ravens one to see if i can pull a golden pick of lamar jackson i feel like i really don't know what to do at this point i've had no luck pulling anything so a lamar jackson here would be huge that'd be crazy i honestly don't know how to react but we both know we won't get him We'll probably get, like, Justice Hill, up at the back of running back. Ooh, we got a Jimmy Smith. Oh, a legend. Shen Sharp, I believe. All right, that was fun. We got Mark Andrews. We did get we got Andrews. All right, Sharp and Jimmy. That actually wasn't that bad of a pack, to be quite honest with you. But, moving on, guys. So before we get into today's video, going over what we should be doing before these promos, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below which one you're more excited for. Now, guys, Mutt Loyalty is very simple. So, to go show you guys what Mutt Loyalty can actually get you in next year's Madden. So, remember something. Madden last year dropped a Mutt Loyalty set that you did at the end of the year, got you some players, and it transferred over into this year. So, I remember, guys, Mutt Loyalty gave you either an Aaron Rodgers last year or a Kyle Fuller, I believe. Now, I showed you guys those Mutt Head the other day. If you don't remember them, maybe I'll show you in this video. But, they were 99 overalls. You did their sets, and you got Loyalty tokens. Now, for that current Madden, which was Madden 19, all you got were the players. But next year, you got Mutt Loyalty tokens. So the way Mutt Loyalty does transfer over is over here. So you go all the way over to Mutt Loyalty. So then when Madden 20 dropped day one, there were these Mutt Loyalty sets. And he went in and said, okay, so Mutt Loyalty, use your Madden 19 Loyalty tokens on these rewards. And everyone's always like, where do I get Mutt Loyalty tokens? Well, guys, pretty simply, at the end of every Madden year, they do a loyalty program. Make sure you're getting it done. Now, you're going to need coins for this, more than likely. Because at the end of these Maddens, you know, you're going to need coins for a lot. This stuff's going to be a little expensive. Now, elite offense player. So if you, had, if you had eight Mutt Loyalty tokens, you would have gotten a Nat Elite Offensive Player day one. Now you guys probably think it's yourself, right? Oh, that's nothing. You have to remember that day one of Madden, Elites are like gold. Like they're very rare. Like, you know, like they're like actual currency. Like that could be a Jalen Ramsey. That, any, well, first of all, any player that packs in the start for you more than likely. And that's going to be fun. And this is going to be free because you got it done last year for you. So your last year's team full of all these coins got it for you to have something nice and decent for this year that also could go for something. Now they are going to be Nat, but it will save you coins. So, uh, he tokens for an elite nat. Now, let's say you had a lot of tokens, you did both, each have more. Then you can do three gold offensive, which isn't that bad, because at the end of the day, these golds will start for you as well. They're all going to be nat, all the way to silver, and then 10k coin quick sells. So, you can, these aren't repeatable, remember. These up here aren't repeatable, these are repeatable, and this one's not. So, that's not bad either. Just, if you have an extra leftover token, just toss it into there. Real quick, get yourself a 10k quick sell item. That's some easy free coins. Honestly, not bad at all. So, guys, what you're going to want to do to prepare for all this... It's honestly going to be, in my opinion, you guys want to get that coin stack up going into all this stuff because a lot of people, this is what people do. Prior to the end of the year, I've seen it on Twitter already. All right, guys, don't mutt. Don't get a massive pack opening, pulling nothing, quitting muff until next year. Yes, that is fun for like five. I've done it. I'm, I'm victim of it. That is fun for like five seconds. You end up actually usually pulling nothing. And if you pull something, you just sell it. And then you open more packs and you pull nothing. So then you end up with nothing. And then Rick Premier's comes, you're broke, you have no means of getting coins, you have nothing to sell in your bond, you really don't know what to do. Then sometimes you even go buy packs with actual money, like 30 bucks real quick, to get some coins, to buy all this new stuff with. And guys, trust me, that's just a, it's a destructive cycle. So my best recommendation is, do not go ahead and do that end of the year pack, uh, you know, end of the year selling off. Guys, now I understand the market's dead. You might not get too much profit back from uh, this, but guys, by, by, by anything I say, like, if there was anything to ever trust me on, please do not spend actual money on this game at this point. Like, there is no point. They aren't even spending their own company money into making this game any better right now. They're done. So anything you spend on them is just money in the bank right now. Do not even think about going that route. Now, guys, about the only thing right now that have true, true value, like if you had and you want to sell and you're not going to use are golden tickets, and even those are pretty, pretty cheap right now. In my opinion, guys, if you had golden tickets you weren't using or you just had them but you don't need them, I would sell those first. Because other things aren't going to have much value. Now, guys, again, if you do want to actually go ahead and get a decent value for premieres and stuff, when it does come out, not exactly right now, but when stuff comes out, or if you want to prep now, guys, coin sponsors, always the best way to go for this stuff. I'm telling you, please do not buy packs. 
it will, it will cost you probably a hundred plus dollars worth of packs right now to get enough value back to go on ahead and buy, get a few Rick premieres. Trust me, with a coin sponsor, you can actually select and choose like, okay, I want every Rick premiere this year. Okay, I'll go buy, you know, 50 bucks worth of coins, which is better than spending $100, $150 worth of packs and not guaranteed anything. Now remember guys, my coin sponsor, always gonna be the cheapest one on the internet. I, I think guys, they are legit. You guys have been asking a lot. They are legit. Plenty of people have been buying from them. They've showed me everything. You guys have been doing great. You know, I'm glad you guys are taking advantage of these prices. And remember, this is the end of the year prices. They're super cheap right now. They're practically giving these things away. So go on ahead. Just go Poodle for 5% off at checkout if in case you guys need any of that stuff. But guys, moving back on to what I was saying, guys, for Rick Premiers, for all you guys who might be a little lost, Rick Premiers are very, pretty much the same thing as loyalty. You do them this year, you get 99 overall players, and next year you get, like, evolution cards if you guys play 2K. Pretty much those cards just upgrade throughout the year as they go on and they get a new card. So, trust me, they are very useful in the beginning, specifically. When you're gonna need them and even if they don't get upgraded at the beginning they're still 70 overall plus cards so they can have some use in the beginning like first week kyler murray had like a i think it was like an 80 something speed so that was kind of fun to have um saquon barkley two years ago got an 88 overall card in the first week of madden and literally was the best running back for a while a lot of use guys trust me a lot of use to these cards uh in the beginning as the year goes on if you spend a lot of money or you buy a lot of coins you might not see the use as much but it really just depends now guys as far as things go if you guys can't go ahead and you really just can't sell anything in your binder and you want to still build your team right now, I get that. And you're building a team. I'd like to say I wouldn't recommend selling things to prepare for this because unless you have golden tickets or like one of the newer cards, like maybe Michael Vick or something, most cards don't go for too much. Now, again, if you're done with Madden, just all I can all I can preach is that you don't go ahead and you sell your team. Now, guys, there's still some value to be had from solo challenges. You can still go ahead and play these fan appreciations. You can still go ahead and get that golden ticket player. You can still go ahead and play these and get that 5,000 coins at the end. Like, if you really have to stat, if you really have to grind out coins in some way, you can still go ahead and play these solos and go on five stars and still get close to about 1,000 per game. There's still a chance to like grind out coins here and there. You can get 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 500. So that ends up being like, what is that, 24, 20, 25, 500, 25,500 coins. So that's still pretty decent. But again, getting coins for Rick Premier's, because in my opinion, Rick Premier's are probably this. Last year, I believe it was close to about 200k to 300k each record premiere so there was about i believe 10 of them so if you want all of them you more than likely have to spend a million to two million depending it all depends on their price this year i'm gonna say you probably need about two million coins to do damn near all of them that's expensive my loyalty you probably need like 400 500k now remember these go for more these are even harder usually like typically a 99 or whatever won't go for that price in the block but these go for more for the simple fact that they are going to be like i said cards that transfer to next year so they're a lot more valuable trust me they, these cards are for this year whatever but the cards that can be used for next year come instantly more valuable because nothing's cooler than saying i did something this year with nothing left to lose and it transfers to next year now guys if you, if you can get some mutt loyalty tokens up to like two elite players plus you get those rick premieres you can look pretty solid going to day one and that always helps especially for you no money spent guys trust me that is a big that is a big improvement getting those uh that edge on people day one and getting those free elite players you can that means it can help you for the first weekend league First weekend league is one of the easiest ones to get top 100 in because people don't have the teams yet. Not a lot of people to compete with. Trust me. Now, I'm taking you guys over to Mutt real quick to show you what these look like. Real quick, Kyle Fuller, Aaron Rodgers, these are the Mutt loyalties look like. Dirk Premier, as you guys already know, you've probably seen them enough this year. Just want to show you guys, these cards will be 99 overalls. They can be used. Like, if you guys get these cards too, remember, it's not like you're selling your team and then you're giving up a Madden. These cards can still be usable cards. They're 99 overalls. The only difference is that they have a double feature, which is why they're going to be a little bit more expensive. Very simple. There's only two Mutt loyalty cards. Get them both done and you get the maximum amount of tokens for next year. Hopefully this comes out soon. I predict that this stuff will probably be coming out. I have to say this month. We don't have much left. I think, in my opinion, Rick Premiers will be coming out late, late this month or early July. And then I think Mutt Loyalty should be coming out sometime mid this month. Still waiting. If they really don't do either one this year, that would suck. And I'd be very upset with Madden for giving up this early. Especially when everyone's quarantined stuck home. It would be a nice time for people to really just get something to do right now. But... Guys, it is what it is on that. So back over to the Madden screen. Alright guys, I hope you guys did enjoy pretty much... Guys, my, my best tips I can give you is don't go ahead and try selling your binder. You may end up with no team and still not enough for this stuff. My best recommendation, guys, is sell the important stuff. Like, if you have a banger piece, like a 1 million golden ticket if you really don't want it. Or if you have any of that stuff. Other than that, if you have things to sell or you have coin quick sales, make sure to check for that. Go sell power-ups. You know, 1K, 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 1K. It starts adding up after a while. Uh, sometimes you find guys like Darren Waller, my binder, apparently, who goes for a lot. Go check that stuff out first. Do not go ahead and just go selling things yet especially because we have to wait for all this stuff but i do recommend guys if if all else fails and you can't build up the coins always use a coin sponsor i promise you like the worst thing you could do is go ahead into the store and think that you're gonna get value back now not gonna lie fan appreciations maybe but don't go ahead and think like okay i'll just buy um 
these this ultimate legend uh bundle for 100 bucks that will guarantee me everything now you might actually leave this bundle with only 100k trust me i swear to you if you don't pull a full ultimate legend or even if you do pull a full ultimate legend they go for like 60k you may end up with only like 100 to 200k max do not do that so instead of spending a hundred dollars here a hundred dollars on my sponsor would get you close to three million coins with my discount trust me guys do not do not make that mistake but remember you just go pool if you got to do it and if you don't get to do it that's great save the money it's all up to you guys but guys better for the video hope you guys enjoy i'm out peace